Right-angled triangles can be used in many problems involving circles. This circle is centered at the origin, and any point on the circumference has coordinates, x, y. The coordinates are related to the circle's radius by Pythagoras. The x-coordinate squared plus the y-coordinate squared will equal the radius squared. A radius always meets a tangent at 90 degrees, so any other point on the tangent connected to the origin O will make a right-angled triangle. And so we can apply Pythagoras to give the relationship between these lengths. Any chords connected to a diameter will make a right-angled triangle, often stated as the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. So we can also apply Pythagoras to these lengths. In this problem, a train tunnel has a cross-section which is part of a circle. The circle has a radius of 2.4 meters and the base of the tunnel is 3.6 meters wide. How can we use this information to calculate the tunnel's height? First, draw a diagram with the supplied information. The height of the tunnel is equal to this distance, x, plus the radius of 2.4. Notice that x is part of this right-angled triangle, which has a hypotenuse of 2.4 and a base equal to half the tunnel's base. So we can use Pythagoras to calculate x. Substitute the side lengths, subtract 1.8 squared from both sides, and take the square root to give x. Then enter this into a calculator to give x equals 1.6. Now we can calculate the height h by adding the radius of 2.4 to x, giving 4.0 meters, and so the tunnel's height. A city observation wheel has passenger capsules on the wheel's circumference. A passenger enters a capsule at point A, while a friend stands at point B, 150 meters away. As the wheel rotates, the passenger follows a circular path with a 67-meter radius. How can we calculate the minimum distance between the passenger and their friend during one complete rotation? If we draw a line from O to B intersecting the circle at C, then the minimum distance will be this length, BC, which we'll label X. The triangle OAB is right-angled since the radius OA meets the tangent AB at 90 degrees, so we can use Pythagoras to calculate the hypotenuse OB. Substituting into the formula and taking the square root, we enter this into a calculator which gives the hypotenuse OB as 164 meters. Now we can calculate x as 164 minus 67. And so the minimum distance between the two friends is 97 meters. Geostationary satellites rotate in a circular orbit above a fixed point on the Earth's equator. The orbit for this type of satellite is always 35,786 kilometers above the Earth's surface. A pair of geostationary satellites, A and B, are in orbit on exactly opposite sides of the Earth. A third geostationary satellite, C, can relay information between the other two. The straight line distance between satellites A and C is 70,565 kilometers. Given that the Earth's diameter at the equator is 12,756 kilometers, how can we calculate the distance between satellites B and C? First, we draw a diagram with the required information and calculate the length of AB by adding these values. Now, the triangle ABC is right-angled because the angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So, we can use Pythagoras to find the unknown length BC, one of the shorter sides. In this case, we'll rearrange the formula for a shorter side before substituting values. Subtract b squared from both sides and then take the square root. Substitute the values. 
and enter this into a calculator to give BC equal to 46,171 kilometers. And so the distance between satellites B and C is 46,171 kilometers.